Hi, good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Teacher Evelyn saying, this is going to be a new day and we are going to have a new lesson. So today, our objective is for you to use future continuous or future progressive to express something that might be happening in the future or what you intend to do in the future. Okay, so, so let's say for instance, I will be leaving soon. Okay, I will be leaving soon. That is my intention that I am going soon or I will be leaving soon. Okay, and then if you're expecting somebody to come, let's say for example, oh, he will be coming in 10 minutes or he will be visiting next year. Or my daughter will be graduating soon. Let me give you sentences uh, using affirmative, negative, and I'll also give you a question. I'll be staying in Oxford. I won't be staying in Oxford. Will I be staying in Oxford? So you have affirmative. I'll be staying in Oxford. Negative, I won't be staying in Oxford. Question, will I be staying in Oxford? These are your sentences if you are going to use your future continuous or future progressive tense. Again, you use them to express your intention in the future or something that you're expecting to happen in the future and so on and so forth. But if, say for example, you use the word still, still means something has already started and it will continue. Let's say for instance, I'll still be living in the UK after my retirement. Or let's say in five hours, I'll still be teaching. Or in two hours, I'll still be um, ironing my clothes. So if you use the word if you use the word still, then it is going to tell us that uh, the action is already starting, okay, and will still continue in the future. So let's say, for example, uh, he will still be living with his parents until he is 20. Or she will still be seeing that person until he breaks her heart. Okay, so these are examples that you guys can uh, continue to work on. So still means that something has already started or is already starting. It's telling us that um, the action is already happening and will continue in the future. So this is a future tense that you will hear very, very often. Okay, so it's extremely common. You just have to practice using the I will be or I'll be or I won't, I, I won't be or I will not be. Or will I be? Won't I be? So just so you know, we can use this anytime we want because it's an expression of something that we expect to happen in the future or something that we predict will happen in the future. All right. I hope you learned something new today. This is Teacher Evelyn saying good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are in the world. Ciao! <laughs>